Well, hello everyone. Virgilio Urbano, the Healthy Italian. And um, I wanted to show you a uh, simple, uh, some simple things to do with your homemade yogurt. Um, the key to being healthy and losing weight and, um, is to make life easy. If things are not easy for you, then you're not going to do it. And you're just going to go back to the same old stuff. Just want to say as of today, um, as I started my life-changing diet, um, I have lost uh, 37 pounds, uh, which is the lightest I've been, down to uh, 212 pounds, which I'm uh, pretty excited about. And I'm not starving. I am eating, and you know I'm just being disciplined. I'm you know hardly putting any carbohydrates in my body. I'm going with organic, 100% uh, organic vegetables. And whatever meats I do have, which is on a smaller portion compared to what it used to be, uh, is much, much less. So a lot of greens, you know, small amounts of meat, if any meat. Some days I go uh, vegetarian or raw all day. So, but in one of my other videos, uh, I showed you how to make yogurt. If you um, didn't, if you missed that one, then watch it. It's real simple. My, this is my favorite recipe. I've tried a bunch, and I just love the coconut and almond. Uh, yogurt so easy I usually make a batch that makes four 16 ounce jars in one shot so uh, then I have it you know you know last me I go through a lot because I do you know I eat it every day because the things with the homemade yo the thing with the homemade yogurt is is you know it, it has all the good probiotics all those happy guys in your stomach you not there's no chemicals there's no sugar you're not there's nothing it's just pure goodness so I do everything I make dressings um, but one of the things I do do every day is you know I do my juicing in the morning I do my wheatgrass I do my juice and then when I need that little pick-me-up for uh, for lunch and I need a little bit more something instead of just having the plain yogurt which it tastes good it has a little sourness to it but I just wanted to show you like when I when I make the reason I make the yogurt the way I make it is that it has a kind of a, a watery consistency because I do use all the coconut water when I make it and I want it this way I couldn't make it thicker um, and I and I, I don't like that and what happens just so you know when it sits it looks like it thickens up because it separates a little bit you make sure that you stir it up and it will come back to the to that consistency of the um, of that one and the reason I do that is so because I want to add stuff to it so if I'm going to do it in dressings it's already in the kind of liquid state you know I add avocado and mint you know uh, I make a curry sauce with it but so what I've done here is and I do this in advance so if you want if you're if you're going to take this to work or the office uh, you go ahead and put yogurt and what I really like are these little mini wide mouth you know these are like uh, uh, the eight ounce ball jars what I like about these is first they're glass um, and you can really screw them on tight and throw them in your backpack or whatever you don't have to worry about them really leaking and um, and they clean up really easy so I do I do like I know they're glass and you gotta worry about that but um, you know they're, they're, they're really nice so I would you know if I was on the go I would feel like this time I put it in a bowl so I put it in a bowl and what I did to this is last time I juiced I purposely knew I was going to save some of the pulp the, the extractions so here I have carrots I have uh, pineapple a little bit of pineapple a little bit of apple and actually a little bit of spinach because the spinach was in there and it cleaned it out and I'm like it's not gonna hurt me to eat the spinach so I have all the fiber so everybody says oh how do you get your fiber you're juicing where do you get your fiber well you get your fiber by eating all your greens in the salads um, but here uh, this is just a nice way where you, you you get to use it and it gives you texture. So not only do I put this inside, um, and again I I I'm not eating a lot of grains uh, right now because I am trying to lose a lot of weight and minimize my carbohydrates. So, um, but I do you know I guess some you know whole grain um, and you I, I, the rolled oats appear to be a little better because they are lightly steamed and so they. Um, they get softer faster so I put the raw oatmeal one just one 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 spoonful inside here and I do that 
you know, ahead of time. So if I'm going to do it in the morning, you know, I put this in a while ago. So that's, remember where I said where it's nice and like running? Well, it's not running anymore after you throw the oatmeal and you throw in whatever you feel like, you know, just carrots. Sometimes do carrots only. And this gives some substance, you know, like you're chewing on something. And then I also add, um, you know, I go to Costco and I get the organic uh, uh, berries, uh, Antioxx blend. Um, I mean, for 10 bucks for a bag, uh, you have it all year, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you throw that in there and, uh, you know, as, and let them defrost as it thaws in there, it releases a little of the juice. So you get a little, you know, you get a little treat, you got a little sugar from, from the berries and that kind of, that thick, you know, that makes it a little thinner anyways. And then um, I, I, I usually try to put a nut in there, you know, so I, these are pine nuts. I like pine nuts because they're small and they're easy, but sometimes I'll take macadamias. I don't put the whole ones in, put them in a little baggie, you know, and just chop them up with something, you know, a back of uh, something heavy, a hammer or, you know, and just chop up the bag, throw that in there and then just, you know, and then, and then let it sit. So then the oatmeal starts to soften up, it, it, it captures some of those extra juices that are in there and pretty much this is what you have. Um, and you can see it's it's far from runny, but I got you know I got a lot of stuff working in here, and it's extremely satisfying. So you got your fiber from you know from the carrots, you got your fiber from the oatmeal, uh, you got some you got some sweetness from the fruit, you got some crunchiness from the from the nuts. So you know, you can variate that. You can put fresh fruit in there if you want. Sometimes you do fresh strawberries. Um, with nuts or um, you know you change it up the key is is to change it up so that your body isn't used to it. you don't get bored with it and you continue to do it uh, so um, you know this is just a little tip I thought I'd share this with you I shared it with a few people and they just absolutely love it and and it's all goodness no chemicals no preservatives no sugar you know extra sugar obviously there's sugar in the fruit you know but it's you know it's minimal and it's natural organic sugar so um, hopefully this helps this helps on your um, uh, on your journey on losing and losing weight um, I, I am uh, I'm on a, I'm on a quest here and I hope uh, that I can maintain this lifestyle or at least a portion of it uh, you know since February 1st to lose that much weight that's only 13 and a half weeks um, but I'm not starving you know I'm not starving so uh, I'm eating good I mean healthy this you, you know there's a lot of a lot of work involved so good luck to you and uh, we'll see you on the next video ciao